Every vector has four pieces of information, a magnitude, an angle, an x component, and a y component. These four pieces of information allow you to draw the vector as a right triangle, and this right triangle helps you set up the relationships between these four values. For example, the magnitude is related to the x and y components by the Pythagorean theorem. The x and y components are related to the magnitude and the angle by the sine and cosine functions. And the angle is related to the x and y components by the arctangent function. It's important to become familiar with these four relationships because you never know which of these four pieces of information you will need in a physics problem. In particular, you need to be able to take a vector's magnitude and angle and use them to find the x and y components and you need to be able to take a vector's x and y components and use them to find the magnitude and angle. Fortunately, Python can implement all four of these relationships. Here are the vector creation functions we used in episode 2. If you have not completed the simple problems from that video, you should pause this video and complete them now. When you use one of these functions to create a vector, you can store that vector under a name. For example, here we store the first vector under the name vector1 and store the second vector under the name vector2. When the code creates these vectors, it also stores the magnitude, angle, x component, and y component of each vector. To use this information, all you need to do is type the vector's name, a dot, and then the information you want. So, to print vector1's x component, we just need to type vector1.xComp. In programming terms, vector1 is an object and xComp is an attribute of that object. The dot is like saying you want the x component that belongs to the object called vector1. Similarly, if you want vector1's y component, you type vector one dot y comp. You can also access the vector's magnitude with the mag attribute and its angle with the degrees or the radians attribute depending on which set of units you need. We can use these attributes to check the relationships between the components, the magnitude, and the angle. For example, we can apply the Pythagorean theorem to vector 2's x component and y component and check that we do, in fact, get its magnitude squared. We can also take the cosine of vector 2's angle in radians and see that we do, in fact, get the same number as its x component divided by its magnitude. Note that even though we created vector 2 using an angle measured in degrees, Python's sine, cosine, and tangent functions take angles in units of radians. To help you become comfortable using these vector attributes, one of the simple problems in the description below asks you to create a red vector with an x component of 2 and a y component of 1. Then it asks you to create a blue vector that begins where the red vector ends and ends at the point 4, 5. Using the red vector's attributes makes this process very easy since you can directly enter the red vector's x and y components as the blue vector's starting point. Then the problem asks you to create a green vector that points from the red vector's starting point to the blue vector's ending point. You can do this easily by adding the two vectors x components together and adding their y components together. In episode 4, we'll see that this is the process we use to add vectors. In this case, we would say that the red vector plus the blue vector equals the green vector. You have now learned how to access vector attributes in Python. In the description below, you can find more activities to perform using this code. To see how these attributes are determined, scroll down to the bottom half of the code where you can see the code using the cosine function, sine function, arctangent function, and Pythagorean theorem just like you use in class.